He came in at 173 and three quarters. So now for the ring introductions, let's go up to our ring announcer, Ed Darian. From the beautiful Broadway by the Bay Theater, here at Harris Marina Hotel and Casino in the better Atlantic City, New Jersey, the boxing capital of the world, the World Boxing Organization, in association with Harris, proudly presents the scheduled 12-round light heavyweight championship of the world. And it's approved by the New Jersey State Athletic Commission, the Honorable Larry Hazard Commissioner and is sanctioned by the World Boxing Organization, the Honorable Ed Levine, the Vice President and Supervisor in Charge. The judges, Mark Schechner, Milo Savage, and John Rupert. In the ring at this time, the man in charge of the scheduled 12-round title bout, referee Teddy Pick. And now, my good friends, introducing the principals. First, in the red corner, wearing the black trunks with the red trim. He tipped in at 174 and one quarter pounds. This gentleman has 27 wins, four losses with 18 knockouts. He is a native of Trinidad and now residing in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the number one challenger and the former World Boxing Association light heavyweight champion, Leslie Tiger Stewart. <laughs> Stewart. And his opponent in the blue corner, wearing the gold trunks with the red and blue trim. He weighed in at 173 and three quarter pounds. This young man is undefeated in 15 professional bouts with 15 straight knockouts. He is currently the World Boxing Organization light heavyweight champion, a native of Monessen, Pennsylvania, and now residing in Detroit, Michigan, Ladies and gentlemen, here is Michael Moore. Moore. I saw you see your instructions. Give me a nice clean fight. When I tell you to break, very important, I want you to break. That understood by both of you. Okay, any questions? Good luck to both of you. Shake hands. Referee Ted Pick with his final instructions. The challenger, Leslie Stewart, former WBA champ. We've got WBA, WBC, IBF, WBO, just to expand on uh, and amplify in our comments. Uh, certainly the boxing public is ill-served by yet another world organization. This one a splinter of the WBA, the usual political reasons, creating yet another boxing organization. But uh, nonetheless, uh, Stewart, legitimately a former champion, and Michael Moore, the current WBO version of the light heavyweight championship, uh, is a young man who many think uh, may turn out to be ultimately the best of the light heavyweights on the scene. Time will tell, and uh, perhaps this afternoon will give us all a better indication of that. He's in the gold trunk. All right, Tim, already we've seen the Leslie Stewart trying to move out to his left, and Michael Moore took that big step over to cut the ring off on him. And Moore is the kind of a kid that can hit you with either hand and get you out of there, Tim. One punch with either hand. Scheduled for 12 rounds. Judges at ringside, Milo Savage from Trenton, New Jersey, Mark Schechner from Coral Gables, Florida, John Rupert from Miami. Scoring on the 10-point must system. And Tim, we, we had asked Leslie Stewart if the fact that Moore was a southpaw would bother him because he did win the world championship from another southpaw, Marvin Johnson. But he said, no, he said, I've got good southpaw sparring partners. I'm ready for him. Right, and you can see he's trying to maneuver, keep himself outside Moore's punching power. Certainly the classiest opponent that uh, young Michael Moore has faced as yet. The longest he's gone in a pro fight is six rounds against Frankie Swindell. His second to last outing in February of this year. He stopped Swindell in six and acknowledges that he was the toughest man he has faced so far. Tim, the longer it goes, the better it should be for Leslie Stewart. Has to get by these early rounds. See Stewart circling to his left. He's got a right hand in. Last exchange. Under a minute to go. Round one. Stewart finding an opening. Has landed two good right hands. Nice combination by Stewart. Or got the jab back. Oh. 
that's what Stewart does not want to do, stay in there and exchange. He has to try to outsmart, use his experience. Outsmart more. Leslie Stewart with four title fights to his credit. Two against Marvin Johnson. One win, one loss there. Lost to Virgil Hill for the WBA crown, losing his title to Hill. And then lost to Donnie Lalonde, the WBC championship. Final seconds. Round number one. Stewart has to stay off those ropes, Tim. Right. The fiber that's pound for pound. Round number two, Tim Ryan and Joe Clancy with Dan Jiggins at Atlantic City's Harris Marina Casino Hotel. We're watching the WBO Light Heavyweight Championship. The champion Michael Moore in goal, Leslie Stewart in the black trunks. And in Stewart's corner, he said, let's stick to the game plan. Don't get overconfident. Keep boxing, which is good advice against a bomber like Moore. Main man in the Stewart corner is trainer Chico Rivas. He brought back a former trainer, Sam Solomon, a real veteran of the boxing wars, also working in his corner today. Of course, Emmanuel Stewart, the main man in the corner of Michael Moore, 21-year-old light heavyweight, now living in Detroit. 48 and 16 record as an amateur won this WBO title in December of last year with a fifth round stoppage of Ramsey Hassan and has defended it three times against a uh, gentleman of no particular distinction similar to those of uh, similar to likes of Hassan with the exception of Frankie Swindell a good tough journeyman who gave him a good go for six Tim, up to this point Michael Moore seems a little tight he having trouble getting off that's the first good straight left hand he threw having trouble getting that left hand off and the steward is not moving the way he did in the first round he was moving to his left circling around he's settling down a little too much now Respect a little bit in the first round, landed a couple of pretty good combinations. Prevents more of them just walking right in and free wheeling. <laughs> the 30 seconds we go round two. More, but the last left hand by the challenger got through. And now Stewart going to the body effectively. Coming to the end of the second round. Number three, our overhead Robocam is on the case here. Perhaps uh, Gilly can talk about that footwork. All right, now we can watch Le Leslie Stewart. He has to keep that left foot outside of uh, Michael Moore's right foot. Can't stay right in front of the man. You can watch their feet and you get a pretty good idea of what's going to happen in the round. He has to take a little quicker step to that left, Mike. Uh, Leslie Stewart there. Stood right in front of him and got nailed with that straight left hand. Again, you can see Michael Moore maneuvering so that his right foot's outside of Stewart's left foot. It's mind over matter with these guys, Tim. Whoever gets in better position. Well, and when he got in good position, he landed his best punch of the fight so far. That straight left hand. And in Stewart's corner, the way they were giving him instructions, uh, Tim, it would seem to take a little confidence away from him. They were telling Stewart, this guy's much too strong, much, much too strong. You have to box. I mean, they're putting, they're putting ideas in Stewart's head. Take his confidence away. Shot to the body was uh, a low blow acknowledged by both Moore and Stewart. Stewart has to stay off those ropes, Tim. He has to be a little more active with his hands. And Michael Moore has to get off with that straight left hand. Good combination. 
Hutchins scored by Moore, picking up his pace now. Stewart fires back, but in stationary position. Stewart just landed a nice straight right hand, Tim. There's a good right hand one. behind it. Third round action, scheduled for all round fight. Light heavyweight, Michael Moore in goal, Leslie Stewart in black. That was the go home punch, Tim just missed. Under a minute to go, round three. <laughs> and there you can see Michael Moore cutting off the ring, taking that big step over to the right, keeps keeping Stewart in front of him. Stewart with an uppercut that got through. Otherwise, Moore is a defense stopping most of those shots. There is Paulette Moore, Michael's mother, at ringside, actively involved, as you might expect. Under 30 seconds. Remaining round three. Moore is just not active enough up to now. He wings that left hand and got through with it. Bangs another low blow right to the hip of Stewart. No warning on that. Final seconds, round three. Moore starting to get the jab through. Round number four. You're looking ringside in Atlantic City live watching the heavyweight, light heavyweight uh, champion of the WBO, World Boxing Organization, that is Michael Moore in gold and the challenger Leslie Stewart in black. So far, we've given the first three rounds to the challenger Stewart against the somewhat inactive Moore who came alive late in round three to make it close. Third round was very, very close, Tim. Stewart pounding away here, putting some pressure on Moore. Stewart is throwing punches in bunches. Emmanuel Stewart told Michael Moore, pump that right jab. That will set up the other punches. Stewart seems to have slowed down for what reason, I don't know, Tim. He stopped moving his hands and he stopped moving his feet. On the other hand, Moore also seems to be just looking to throw that home run ball. He's not been busy really since the beginning here. He's been concentrating on defense, waiting for clear openings to punch. Stewart with another flurry. Stewart tripped over the left foot of Moore. Right foot of Moore, pardon me. Now Moore got a good right hand in from outside. Starting to put some pressure. There's a good right hand. He's got Stewart in a little trouble here on the ropes. Michael Moore. Stewart firing back. And he scores with an uppercut and a right hand behind it. Stewart scored some damaging punches in that exchange. Took more of his best shots and came back, Tim. What a surprise. And Stewart now trying to hit the home run ball, and he lands a good right hand. Wobbled more of it, Tim. Under 30 seconds to go, round four. Heavy duty action. Terrific action for light heavyweights. Leslie Stewart's corner is telling him, you cannot let Michael Moore suck. You've got to move around and get more active. He's just peeing off on him right now. Back to you, Tim. Here in the fifth round, scheduled for 12, Stewart in black. The champion Moore in gold. Heavy exchanges in the fourth round. 
worked him so far it's been uh, Stewart's experience he's taking advantage of every opportunity punches and flurries catches more by surprise and Moore is pumping that right jab exactly as Manny Stewart told him to takes Moore a little too long to get off Tim especially with that left hand of Stewart in there. Well, Stewart came in there with the likes of Marvin Johnson twice. A real crafty, difficult, and tough boxer. Of course, Moore hasn't faced anybody of that caliber. Stewart will then go to the likes of Lottie Mwala, Uriah Grant. Against the Oval Mejia, so he's just been in there against the tougher guys. This is an important step up for Michael Moore, even though he is the champion of this new organization. Under a minute to go in round number five. An overhead look at the activity from our Robocam. A little blood from the nose of Leslie Stewart, but perhaps just under his and you can see the lip. See those combinations of Stewart, Tim? They're not hard punches, but he's throwing them in punches. He's been by far the more active of the two to this point in the fight. Under 30 seconds we go. And he gets a good combination against Moore, snapping his head back and follows up. He punches and flurries, Tim. He knows just what, when to punch. That's the experience factor. seconds of the fifth round. Another good round for the challenger, Stewart, as we see it. Round number six, Tim Ryan with Gil Clancy and Dan Jiggis here in Atlantic City. And Michael Moore having uh, problems with the challenge of Leslie Stewart, the former WBA champion or experienced fighter, as we've seen it. It's won every round. Possibly you might give the fourth to uh, the champion... Michael Moore, but uh, he is having all kinds of headaches, totally. Manny Stewart uh, pinpointed the problems of Michael Moore. He said, you're getting in position, but you're not letting your hands go. He said, you got to let that left hand go. He's trying to figure Leslie Stewart out. What he has to do is punch. He's got to get the motor started. And Ted Pickett came over to check Michael Moore at the end of the round. Ted Pick, the referee, Emmanuel Stewart, the trainer, Michael Moore. There's Moore with a good combination that got through. Short and blocked by Stewart. Round six, scheduled 12. Stewart working the body and then comes up to the head and gets a right hand through. Short to the next one. It's amazing. When Stewart starts to, to punch, it seems like he freezes more and more. It just stays there and takes them. He has to punch back. If he nails Stewart when Stewart's punching, the fight might be over, but he has to punch back. The longer it goes, the more uh, Stewart sees of that, the uh, more likely he is to continue to be active. You know, after a fight, fighters say, I, I just couldn't get off. And that's just the way Moore looks up to this point. He just can't seem to let the punches go, whether it's Stewart's movement or whatever, but he seems to be a little puzzled in there. Blood from the nose of the champion, Michael Moore in gold. Jab in. This time the following cross. He gets through uh, six. This will be the farthest that uh, Moore has had to go in his young pro career. 15-0 with 15 KOs. The longest he's gone is six rounds against Frankie Swindell. Oh, 
Good combination scored by the challenger, Stewart again. Under 30 seconds to go round six. Again, Stewart in those flurries in the final minute of the round. Those are attention getters in terms of the judging. Dudley Stewart having his way with the champion, Michael Moore. Round number seven. Our overhead Robocam showing you Michael Moore in gold and the challenger Leslie Stewart in black. And you can see the way Stewart escaped out of the corner that time, too. Uh, Tim uh, Moore was trying to move him into the corner, and you see Stewart just move off to his left and get out of there. Well, Gill scored the sixth round for Moore. I saw it for Stewart, so uh, we'll see how the uh, judges score that one. But even still, we have uh, Stewart uh, comfortably ahead despite our own uh, discrepancy. Round four uh, could have gone either way. You know, in the corner, they're telling Moore, don't wait. And you, you feel like, what are you waiting for? And that's the question to ask. Stewart just becoming more relaxed and confident as this fight goes on. And this is the longest that Moore has had to go in his pro career, as we mentioned earlier. Never been past six. He stopped everybody in a shorter distance. Twenty-one-year-old Michael Moore in gold. Twenty-nine-year-old Leslie Stewart in the black trunks. Born in Trinidad, now lives in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. With Stewart, it's a question of complete concentration. He has to keep that movement to the left. He has to stay out of the power zone. Now Stewart is playing possum. We can expect a big flurry from Stewart at any time now, Tim. Murr certainly is busier during this last 30 seconds or so. Not scoring damaging blows, but moving his hands. Stewart just flicking out the jab. There's Mrs. Moore, Paulette Moore, Michael's mother, watching uh, with a little concern here. Under 30 seconds to go round seven. Uppercut landed by Stewart, combination behind it. Here, Emmanuel Stewart telling his boxer, you've got to get busy. Coming to the end of round seven. Just can't react, boys. Can't react. Number eight, you're looking at Michael Moore. Let's go uh, to our reporter, Dan Jiggins, for a word. Leslie Stewart's corner told him that he's got to use that left hook now. Of course, Michael Moore's corner said, work outside, and then come back in with that uppercut. Back to you, Tim. Gil? And Tim, you know, uh, Emmanuel Stewart was sounding uh, the way we talk to each other. He said, Stewart is busy scoring points. He said, you're going to have to get busy. You're going to have to fight. That was a slapping right hook by Michael Moore. And Stewart is landing the more accurate punches by far up to this point. Just that little movement of Stewart's head is bothering Michael Moore. Every time he gets set, Stewart gives him a little faint, a little movement, and it just seems to take him off balance. Again, that's the experience of a Leslie Stewart. This kid just has to free wheel. He has to let him go. Can't worry about missing. Well, whatever the outcome of uh, this bout. Whoop, that may be the outcome of this bout. Michael Moore sending Stewart to the canvas out of nowhere. Tim, it's, it seemed like a glancing blow. To me, a right hook, a glancing blow. But Stewart still looks like he's in difficulty. And Moore 
leaps to the ropes and lands a combination. Another right hand sends him down. Well, the vaunted power of young Michael Moore comes out of the closet in round number eight. Stewart struggles to his feet, but he's still in some difficulty for sure. Can he survive this? Moore drives him to the corner. Wobbly legged Leslie Stewart not grabbing on and not punching back. And that's it. Ted Pick steps in and says, that's all. Well, suddenly Michael Moore from nowhere at 2.05 of the eighth comes up with a knockdown punch and follows it up with a second knockdown. Ted Pick stops the action at 2.05 of the eighth round. And Michael Moore has defended his WBO crown just when it looked like he was getting a boxing lesson from Leslie Stewart. Well, I must say, uh, although on the far side of the ring, I have yet to see the real good shot. Perhaps on a replay, we'll get a, an idea of what it was that sent him down the first time. Well, Tim, I'd like to take another look at it, too, because it seemed like a, a glancing right hook to me. It didn't seem it was that hard. high on the head, and down went Stewart. It didn't even seem to be thrown that hard. That's the power of this young kid. He just has to let them go, which Manny Stewart kept begging him to do the entire fight. Now, let's take a look at it right now, Tim. We'll see what happened here. There it is, inside. A very short little left hand inside with a right hand behind it. But it, was, it looked like the left hand was a damaging blow, Clance. Well, he hit him with the right, the right hook after it, Tim, and that was the one to put him down. Yeah, he was indeed, but it looked to me like that short left hand kind of, you know, got his attention right on the chin and sent him backwards, and then the right hand sent him to the canvas. Let's take another look at it. A left and a right, and Michael Moore, and we'll be back to talk to our champion Michael Moore after we're back live in Atlantic City with the champion Michael Moore and uh, Michael uh, we had you behind on the cards there were two or three swing rounds but you were getting some real good experience from Leslie Stewart and then suddenly bang bang two shots and he's down well what I caught him with was a short left uppercut I've been working on the inside as far as coming in low and Emmanuel and Alex was telling me that uh I was behind on points, so they wanted me to fight, come out that round and fight a little bit. So what I did, I, I put in my mind that I had to go out there and listen to my corner and do what I had to do to win the fight. Well, he was the most experienced boxer that you've uh, faced so far, and it looked like uh, you noticed the fact that he was a little better standard because he showed you some stuff you hadn't seen before. Right, exactly. I knew he was an experienced guy. I trained well in the gym for his boxing and the experience wise, so it all paid off tonight. All right, Michael, let's, uh, if we can, uh, go back and take a look at the second knockdown. We showed uh, the first one that really started it all. You knew you had him in trouble after the first one, obviously. It looked like that right hand landed on top of his head, and then he got one more in. Right at the temple. It looked like it hit him right on the temple, right on top of the head. But the first shot was a good short left uppercut, right yep. to the chin. This one landed right on, the right on the temple, right there, going backwards. All right, and then, of course, uh, Stewart uh, tried to get up. He was uh, on his feet and tried to continue here, but uh, you were able to jump in and finish him off. Exactly. I'm a good finisher, so what I had to do is take him on out there. He posed a threat to me, so I had to take care of him. I'd like to say hi to all the people, my fans back home in Vanessa, my buddy MC Hammer, Christopher Williams, Timmy, Timmy Gatlin, uh, Wilkie Stewart. All right, and the whole telephone book. Yeah. Manny, Manny, i got to ask you this. You know, there are three other champions. They all have a higher recognition than the WBO does. But Michael Moore by, is regarded by most people as perhaps the next best young light heavyweight. Where do you hope to take him from here? I think tonight, as you said earlier, was a very important fight because he had a guy that did things that we had never experienced before. I think he showed a lot, showed still some mistakes. But I think that right now I would like to see him have either a fight with directly with Virgil Hill. I think the Virgil Hill is a good fight. If not, we will stay busy with someone else in between. But he's got to fight regular. I want him to fight at least every six weeks. But the guy that I would like the most is Virgil Hill. Okay. Well, all right. Congratulations again to you, Michael Moore. You're certainly on your way. Well done. Congratulations. Michael Moore, the WBO light heavyweight champion, defending his title with a knockout. Done the boxing.